All right, so this is the time I consider myself getting drunk for the last time in my entire fucking life. Yeah. All right, so the year is January 2015. It is January 31st, 2015. It is my birthday. I'm not sure what age I was. I think it was 22. I think it was 22. But, so, I'm turning 22. Keep in mind, I'm in band at this time. I'm one of the section leaders or whatever at this time. And so, I didn't have nothing planned for my birthday, right? I was just gonna chill, whatever, chill out, all that good shit. So, how this night started, I hadn't eat I hadn't eaten anything all fucking day. That's the first problem right there, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't eat nothing. So actually I ate a subway sandwich like right before the train of events that I'm about to tell you happened. And that subway sandwich ended up on CeCe's floor actually. Um so I went and got me some subway, then I went to go see my boys Jay and Frank. So as I'm over there, of course, you know, they happy birthday, happy birthday, whatever, whatever. They are starting to, they're not starting to drink themselves. They're starting to get me drunk. So, cause it's my birthday. So I'm drinking, I think Hennessy at the time, you know what I'm saying? We turn up or whatever. Then all of a sudden they like, hey bro, we gotta go. And I'm like, shit, we gotta go where? Where the fuck we gotta go? They like, we gotta go to CC house real fast. Cause I gotta go get something from them. I was like, what the fuck? Whatever. So it's a little quick walk over there. They all stayed in like phase one or whatever. So we walk over there, keep in mind, I'm already drunk at this time. I done drunk a full bottle of Hennessy, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm already fucked because I my drinking tolerance is shit. Horrible. That's why I don't drink. But we go over there, then all of a sudden, we open the door, and it's just this big ass surprise! And I'm already drunk, and I'm thinking like, I wouldn't do enough for my birthday. So I'm hyped and shit. I'm just like, ah! Or whatever. So. I'm just like, hell yeah, party time or whatever. Keep in mind, I'm drunk already. They have more shots than I ever seen in my fucking life at this party. And everybody that I know damn near is at this party. So we get in there, we turning up, we drinking and shit like that. I think it was, I think I was 22, don't quote me. I think I was 22 though, or turning 22. So I had to take, I wanted to take 22 shots, right? Cool, whatever, it's fine. So I started getting brown first. I think it was Paul Masson. That was the first one I got. So I'm just taking them back, taking them back, taking them back, taking them back. Like it ain't nothing. I get to like number seven and I'm still somewhat functional. Then I get to number eight. And this is actually where I kind of forget a little bit, but I get to number eight and it's clear. So you know the old saying, do not mix brown and clear. Trust me, don't mix that shit. But so I started taking clear shots. So boom, 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 boom. I'm right. I'm at like probably shot number 14 that I remember. Then after that, everything got blurry. Like really fucking blurry. But I'm trying to hold my own. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a grown ass man to me in my head. You grown ass man, dog. So I'm not. But uh, <laughs> once everything got blurry, you know how like you close your eyes and then you open them back and then you go see some shit. Then you close them again and you open them back and you see something else. That's how it was. It's like every time I close my fucking eyes, more people was there. So I closed my eyes the first time. I open them. I'm not even in the apartment. I'm outside the apartment on the balcony talking to, I think it was, uh, I think it was Avery at the time. I think I was talking to Avery at the time. And then all of a sudden I close my eyes again and then I'm on the couch and I see my frat brother Cameron, and he just all hype and shit like, yo, yo, nigga, it's my motherfucking, it's my motherfucking uh, frat brother birthday, yo, nigga, hell, y'all, or whatever. So I'm like, hell yeah, I'm lit, fuck yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> or whatever. And I close my eyes again, and I open them, and I see this cat name, his name is Aaron, he's from the drum line, and I was like, where, where you come from? What's up with it, bro? I'm drunk, people, I am fucked up. So after that, is when it tends to turn a little, a little fucked up, a little dark. So all I remember after that, I was on a couch. I woke up, my head was on the fucking floor inside of a fucking trash can. 
I don't think I had threw up yet at that point, but I'm guessing CC probably put the trash can down. So if I did have to throw up, cause I was very, very fucked up. I'm gonna stop you there. You, what do you fell mean? in the trash can. I fell in the trash can. So you had trash can right there. Yes. But I fell in it. You fell inside the trash can. I have a video. No there you go. Don't worry. The video <laughs> will be a part of this somewhere. I'll put it somewhere. Probably. Oh! 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 Okay. Bro, hey, what the? Bro. Big look what Dallas did. Bro. 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 So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And I blacked out, right? I blacked out. The worst thing you can do at a party while you drunk is black out. I blacked out. And I don't remember shit. So this is the part where people are telling me exactly what happened. I wake up the next morning, I got this burning sensation in my throat, so I knew right off top, yes, nigga, you threw up. You fucking. <laughs> fucking threw up. And I was like, fuck. But then I looked down, and keep in mind, I was a lot smaller than I am now, but I woke look down and I had a shirt on that wasn't my fucking shirt. So I'm like, wait, what the fuck is my shirt? Cause it was a Rocky Balboa shirt from Rocky three, Rocky versus Miss T. I love that fucking shirt. Prediction for the fight then. Prediction? Yes, prediction. Pain. And I ain't been able to find that shirt since. So I was like, what the fuck going on? So I look in the corner, my frat brother Trey, he is still there. Shouts out to Trey, my ace. Um, I hit him, I said, hey, what's going on? He was just like, you just started throwing up here, you with me? I said, what? He said, yeah, it got bad. I said, damn. I said, you all right? He's like, hell no, nah, I got a hangover too. I was like, God, damn, we got too wild. And so at this time, I'm looking for either CC or my girlfriend at the time, because I'm like, I don't know what the fuck happened and where is my fucking shirt? Because I really want my fucking shirt. But I eventually I find them, my girl tells me, it got bad. You threw up every fucking wear all over the floor. I had to put you in the tub, wipe the throw up off of you, put you in another shirt, and then we just put you on the couch. I don't believe it. No, 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 no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. At first, I don't believe I'm like, nah, hell no. So I was like, so where's my shirt? I think, if I remember correctly, they say they put it in the bag and they just threw it outside somewhere. I wouldn't have believed none of this if we didn't get up and go to my car and I seen the bag with the fucking shirt in it. So, you know, like I told y'all, I love this fucking shirt. So I'm going to go get my motherfucking shirt. But as I opened the bag, you, you remember that scene from the wood where she was like, oh, hell no. What the fuck is that smell? Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. Nope, 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 nope. Go. Just go. Get this shit away from... What the fuck is that smell? Yeah, that, that that's, that's, yeah. Hell, hell no. Fuck all of that. That's bullshit. But, more of the story, do not, do not mix brown and clear. I don't give a fuck if it's your birthday, because since that day, my body can't even take alcohol straight like i will gag the fuck up so if you ever invite me anywhere do not give me alcohol okay don't give me alcohol because i'm gonna try to drink it and it's gonna come right the fuck back up because i fucked my body up for life from that one night like the fact that i didn't get alcohol poisoning is nothing but the man upstairs all right got any questions about this night cc well i just want to correct oh something okay your girlfriend at the time did not <laughs> clean the throw up off of you. Your sister held your ass up and cleaned it up. It's okay. <laughs> they kept the pants on. So it was just the top, because, like, I guess I just threw up all down my fucking top. And yeah, man, I, it was fun until that shit happened and, and it wasn't fun no more. And I didn't even get none of my cake. So all you bitches that was there who ate up my fucking cake, fuck y'all for eating up my goddamn cake. I ain't get no cake, no food. <laughs> they had all that shit and I ain't get none of it. I got drinks. That's fucking it. That's the end of the fucking video. Yeah, that's my story. Bye.